It's nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you as well. Uh, tell me a little bit about your character to start with, because you're brand new this season. I am. I come in about halfway through the season, uh, playing Dr. Jeremy Bishop, who's uh, new to Hope Zion, but not new to all the characters. He's a good old friend of uh, Charlie Harris's. Right. And obviously, anyone new coming in shakes things up to some degree. Absolutely. What's what's his um, what's his interaction like with once he's he's in amongst all these characters? Uh, well, with, with Charlie, you know, he's old buddies with Charlie, so that's just them picking up on their friendship where they left off. Uh, now he's getting to know Alex, uh, which is great, and they get along great. And then with the residents, he's uh, you know poking around in all their in, stuff. In, yeah, all right. their stuff. <laughs> what's going good? What's going bad? He's got kind of a hand in everything. And it's kind of nice as a perspective for Charlie for us to kind of see someone chummy with him because to some degree he's he's sometimes quite separate almost. Yes, because a lot of the people that he's chummy with, the rest of us can't see. Yeah. Uh, so it's nice to have like a real live uh, person for him to hang out with. Just have a bit of like lightness and history, you know. You're almost kind of a new in to the character, really. I mean, he, he the way exactly, he's yeah. gonna interact with him. Yeah, sometimes when you see someone, especially someone from someone's old life, you know, or from their past, mm -hmm. it opens up a whole new side of them, which is which is great to see. And uh, as an actor coming into the set with kind of on the fourth season, what's it been like for you to kind of work with all these these people? Well, it's, it's kind of funny because for initially I was on a show called Rookie Blue. Yes, of course. And a few years ago we were in Side by Side Studios. Uh, so I know a lot of the cast from before. Uh, the whole crew is is almost entirely, almost down to a person, the crew that worked on my first three right. seasons on Rookie. Uh, so in that way, it's kind of like it's kind of like a reunion. So it's been great. The cast has been so welcoming, and to have the familiarity of knowing the crew is right. like uh, that makes a big difference, so obviously. Lucky. Absolutely. And it's funny because you're one of the few people who I didn't speak to on Rookie Blue. I, I feel like right. the list got very short by the end. But yeah, you would have you would have spoken to. I us spoke to almost yeah. everyone else. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, in terms of, in terms of getting into medical, mm -hmm. you know, the, the drama around medical, you know, everything. Because, I mean, right now, I think a lot of people are more conscious even of medical dramas. Yes, yeah. What, what's it like as an actor to, to kind of, do you bone up on some of the stuff? or what, what's your? I mean, I try to prep. Uh, I'm under no, no illusions that I wouldn't be able to perform any of these surgeries <laughs> for real. But we do try to prep as much as we can. And... Um, they're very good about giving us the time and giving us the time and the space and with, you know, the actors we're working with and with the prosthetics to be able to, you know, at least reasonably simulate some of the things and sometimes even, you know, I, I was suturing the other day and uh, like, like you really would. That would be very realistic, and right? And it was a very, um, very, very satisfying experience huh. to just get like a little tiny taste of it. And uh, do you know CPR? I mean, I'm always curious sometimes. Yes, I did um, first aid training. Yeah. Uh, I haven't, I think I'm, it's actually probably expired, but I've done two, two rounds of first aid training, so mm -hmm. I have that you know, somewhere in the back of my mind. Probably helpful too. <laughs> yeah, I just think that's good. And then every episode we can kind of, you know, look into specifically what right. we're dealing with that episode. And do other actors kind of like, hey, you know, you should know this for, you know, kind of. <laughs> it's, it's. The best. Oh, it's it is. Like, like Erica and Michael have been so, so helpful because they've been doing the show for so long. Right. I end up in a surgery with them and they're like, oh, this goes here. This is this thing. We do this with this. You can put this through here. Here's a shortcut we might use. Like, it's, it's, it's been, amazing. Everyone's been so, so great with that. And it is funny when you think about it that you end up getting taught kind of some of these things by other actors. But Yeah, absolutely. Cause but they, it's amazing. They've done so many of them now. Right. And I mean, it, it does certainly lend itself to kind of what the show is about, though, at the same time that you're learning from the people actually doing it. Yeah. It is. Yeah. I mean, but that's kind of the cool thing about, I think, the Toronto kind of network for making shows. Yeah, yeah. And it's funny, too, because Toronto has, I think Toronto's developed much better now the last couple of years than oh, yeah. even we expected maybe 10 years ago. It's so, it's so busy right now. It's really exciting to see. As an actor, it must be compelling. It's great. It's so, and it's so great just to, you know... Uh, when Rookie Blue wrapped up, you know, to be able to jump right into this on the heels of that. Right. Uh, you know, change up, change up the uniforms. Uh, <laughs> a little bit lighter uniform, I guess. Lighter. Yeah. This one's great. It's like a pajamas. I mean, that would be it's so nice. So, what's been the most rewarding part about coming in, coming into Saving Home? 
the, the biggest thing is, is the people, you know, like like uh, the crew that I know is so great, and then the cast has been so great, and some of them I knew from before, and some, you know, I just got to know working on this show. Uh, but we have so much fun here every day. Like, you can hear the, right, it's, it's quiet now, atypically quiet. But usually you can hear the sort of ruckus <laughs> going on in between takes. Uh, it's really, it's really great. That That's I just cool. love. And do you... Did you ever imagine you'd be playing, uh, I guess, I guess actors go into all sorts of roles, but did you ever yeah. imagine you'd be going into kind of the hospital drama? Well, my, my older brother's an actual uh, real-life doctor. Really? So I always, I think I always wanted to, just so I could do the same thing as him without all the training. That's amazing. <laughs> so do you talk to him about this stuff? stuff? Do you, do, yeah, I brought him to set the other day. It was really interesting. That's amazing. Yeah, he was like, our hospital doesn't have this. <laughs> uh, we have a very state-of-the-art hospital here at Home Time. And how much of the equipment is real? Is there much? It's real. It's it almost is. entirely real. Yeah. I've actually heard that before, that a lot yeah. of times they, they actually end up getting the real thing. Yeah, if we plugged this all in and, and hooked it up, we could, you know, run, run a pretty uh, pretty decent hospital. So in other words, if the apocalypse hits Toronto, everyone's going to be coming to save and help. Straight here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. First stop. Uh, can you tease anything for us? Something that's going to come up in the next couple episodes uh, after your appearance? Yeah, I mean, I... I um, I don't want to give too many of the specifics away, but as with any new, uh, you know, cast member coming in, new character coming into the hospital, it will complicate the love lives of certain characters. Of course. Did you get a fritter? Fritter Friday. No, yeah. I did not get a fritter. There's a little, like, tiki truck <laughs> thing in there. And the camera department gets these apple fritters from a place by nice. Friday. Nice. That's amazing. Yeah. you got to have good food on a set. I, I ferreted one away. It's very important. <laughs> so... Tell me a bit about some of the teases you can give away, but what's going to happen, obviously, between between all the characters now that you're here. Oh, yeah. Well, there's there's uh, new friendships that form, uh, and there's uh, re new relationships that form, and that might shake up some old relationships and things that are already going on in the hospital. Um, it's, it's interesting, this dynamic. Uh, you know, people work so closely together in these long hours, and in the life or death stresses that they have going on around them uh, in the hospital, the uh, the way that bonds people together. Right. So we're going to be seeing a lot of twists and turns there, just further complications in their personal life. Well, the last thing I have to ask, it's something I've always meant to ask, is what's his coping mechanism? Because different mm -hmm. characters, different people in real life, obviously, have different coping mechanisms for what they're confronted with. Yeah, I mean, uh, like a lot of them, I think. Uh, Jeremy Bishop has a measure of uh, you know, professional reserve. Uh, and this episode we're filming right now, uh, he's really just gunning for some shots of tequila at the end of the day. That's, <laughs> I think that might be his go-to. Cool. Well, thank you very much. Awesome. Thanks. Pleasure talking to you. Nice chatting with you, too. Thanks, yeah.